Okay, in this video we're going to discuss beaming it and unbeaming in Finale. So, I've gotten a few requests to do this uh, video actually, because people are wanting to know. So, what we're going to do, I have this open up here. And we're just going to make our little melody for first. Okay, so we have these two. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up real quick. We have these two different sets of beam notes here. So what we're going to do to simply unbeam them or to un attach them, you would hit uh, the question mark key on your keyboard or the slash key, and it automatically turns your notes into two sets of two beam date notes and not four. Uh, see if I do this on the same on the on the second side it'll turn it that way as well. And then you can always rebeam that's unbeam. You can always rebeam by touching the third out of four eight note stems in the measure. That will actually rejoin the stems together. So let's do that again. Slash key. There you go. And so that's how we beam and unbeam. Like if you were in, let's say you were in 6 8, let's change the time signature. Uh, go up here. So we want six eight for the one. And we can actually do, and yeah, that's good. So we're turning to six eight now. If we wanted to. Normally when you beam these notes, there are groups of three. So, like right here, in Finale, a lot of times when you do the six with the eighth note as the subdivision, it will actually give you eight notes that are all separate from each other, that are all unbeamed. So, what you'd have to do, click the second note, beam it, click the third note, click the question mark slash key, there you go, and to start beaming the second batch of three, click on the second note, hit the dash key, third note, hit the slash key here. So that's how we beam those together properly. Uh, any questions, any comments, please feel free to put them in the questions section below. Otherwise, I will see you later.